Hello, I just got back from the lake. So you have haggard, unrested, unpolished Jamie. I'm not even wearing makeup. Can you tell? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this. What's been up? Everybody, what has everyone been playing? My brain is turned to mush because I am not well rested and I'm quite haggard. Now I'm just going to get into some playing, see if I can release these mental blocks. Charles Longstaff, how are you doing? I just got back from the lake, uh, so I am I am not fully functional. Hey, Blockscrafter19, hello, how are you doing? If I can even play the jaw harp. I've had a really good couple nights of uh, play the last couple nights. Yeah, we didn't really do much lake stuff. We just traveled four hours round trip to see some family who were out at a lake. What jaw harp is that? And it sounds amazing. Oh, this is Amenshinov. No particular model. Everyone Amenshinov makes is uh, is different. You spell that out. A H M M E T Z A N H O V. I'll mention of. I think this is Mr. Pickaby. Hello. He hasn't gotten any attention today because we were, have been gone all day. <laughs> Mr. Pickles, Mr. Pickaby, Mr. Pickest. He has uh, a lot of names. And the trigger on this is really unique. It's alien themed, so it looks like Predator. And then the tail looks like an alien's tail. Hey, Cyberfish, how you be doing? It's one of the two harps I brought out to the lake. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be around water. I don't know how wet we're going to be getting or how much we'll be playing. So I want something that cannot rust. Playing this harp a little bit colors on this reed are really pretty. You can't see it in the video, but it's gnarly looking. There, I'm trying to use my glottis while drawing, so I'm shutting it just a little bit or trying to. Keep the draw start going. I'm breathing in, drawing on it, and then re releasing my lips and letting air back out. And if I release my lips off it, I can sneak air past it without stopping it. Let's see if I can do this. Yes, Mr. Pickaby. Join the party. This is Pickles the Cat, the jaw harp trance guide. <laughs> Anyways, let's play something melodic, maybe. <clears throat> See if I can get something going. I was such in a rush. Normally, I have some time to decompress and prepare for the live upload. There was none of that today. Does the cat like the sound? Yeah, he comes and chills with me when I'm in the deepest of trances on the harp. Um, there have been times where he shows up behind me, and I don't even realize he's behind me, and I'll feel the cat. Like, oh, what's happening? And then there's other times like, yeah, the cat's sitting right beside me. I know he's there. I can, I can hear him, and I'll look, and he's not there. And there he appears. Cats are mysterious creatures anyways. They appear and disappear very quickly. 
Let's see, what should I play? When I was playing an older harp of mine. I'm gonna make some more in .020. Yes, Mr. Pepper. You are everywhere that I need to be. He's like, pay attention to me. He wasn't here all day. I'm sorry, you'll get attention later on. What should we get into? What harps has everybody been playing? What have you been up to this weekend? I just got back from seeing some family at the lake. So hadn't had much time to prepare for this at all. Wow, that sounds like a really nice, great playing job. Oh, thank you. That's one I built myself. I'll play another one that I built myself. I don't build very many. I build maybe a dozen a year. I don't really even sell them. Sometimes I gift them to friends and most of them I keep for myself. Because I like the harps I make. There's a newer one. It says, I recently bought a Snoopy heart. Its sound is output is really loud. Yeah, uh, take the Snoopy heart, park it on the uh, on a shelf, and get another one. The Snoopy harps are hard to play. They're very uncomfortable. They don't make a lot of noise. This is your first harp. I'd hold on to it, but uh, I'd definitely get a new harp. When you play, when you go from playing a Snoopy harp to playing, like when I played my Salaji Chancer for the first time, I was like, whoa, mind blown. Like by the amount of, uh, he says, been playing my Dan Moy double tongue. Oh, yes. Awesome. Oh, Charles Locks about. Thank you. I was playing, speak of the devil, I was playing double tongue Dan Moy's a couple nights ago. I had Friday off for once. I was going to build a harp, and then I did some other things. I hung some drums up and worked on some artwork. Here's the little, this is my favorite of them, the little double tongues, the double tongue small Dan Moy. Yo. It's like I'm going, yo, he, yo, he, yo, he, yo. We can do whatever we do on an out breath, percussive wise, we can do it on end breath. So let's work on that a bit. I'm having a hard time finding the rhythm today. I'm just so out of balance from traveling. I've traveled over four and a half hours a day. Got a harp that came in Tuesday. I forgot the brand name. Harp is called the Compass. Oh, that's a glass one. That's a good harp. Uh, you'll go far on that. You won't get bored with that one for a while. Let's see. What else can we play? I was playing other harps. I want something with some sustain. There's one I bought from uh, Steve Kindwald. I don't know where I placed Oh, I see it right there. Like I said, I'm not prepared to go live <laughs> tonight. Uh, kind of uh, burnt out from the road. And busy day traveling wears me out more than actually working does. Well, you're so good. Oh, thank you. That's a good compliment. Here's a. This is a very expensive Dan Moy. Uh, it's not even a Dan Moy. It's made in Sumatra, I think. Uh, got it from Steve Kinwall. It's low. That's interesting. Very traditional looking place. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay,
See the cat, you can see the top of his head. You a real cat, Mr. Pickby? I think you are. Let's see, we'll play one more harp. Very much enjoyed the Glazer Mongol. Oh, awesome! So glad you enjoy it. Oh, god, I've never heard such a deep note on a harp. Oh, let's play some deep harps here. Come on, G0 Parm. I don't have a G0 Parm anymore. I think I sold it to a friend who really, really wanted to buy it. And right now, uh, the, the maker in Estonia is no longer making the G0. He says he can only make B0. So I got some B0s coming. What's your jaw harp collection up to nowadays? I, I, I offload harps all the time because I don't want to have too many in my personal collection because the upkeep is too large, I would say. Here in the chillery, I have about 100 harps. Um, I probably have another 100 in my collection, but I try to keep it below that i'll probably be trimming it there's some harps i'll never get rid of but a lot of harps i do um then the, in the harpery now this is the chillery chillery is my personal collection in the harpery it ranges anywhere from 500 to 3,000 harps throughout the year it goes up it goes down like when i get a big shipment of glazer and there's you know maybe three four hundred come in at once at least and with the pandemic like i sold half of them in like two weeks so the numbers are constantly changing in the harpery. I've been waiting for my first harp to show up from Russia for almost three months now. Oh yeah, the pandemic will set you back there. If you want the same harps at basically the same prices um, to show up to your house in three to six days, uh, check out theharpery.com. <laughs> He says that clip sound, it hurts tooths. No, I haven't hit my teeth at all during this playing. If anything, this long reeded harp, it might have hit the frame slightly. It doesn't hurt your teeth at all. It will disrupt the sound for a second if you miss strike. On a harp this long, like a holotrope, the throw on it is very, very long. It travels really far. So it's crucial that you time it correctly. So a lot of it is plucking correctly and also timing it because the harp travels here and back. So you don't want to hit it after it's traveled clear forward and then started back and then hit it back again or travel clear back and starting forward, especially and hit it backwards again. And it'll cause it to wobble. What kind of jaw harp is that? Oh, this is a uh, hollow sharoop from Oleg Niga. Oh, not my favorite bass they are in 
ginormous. Uh, my favorite bases are ones that are shorter. I can seem like I get more out of them. They're easier to play if a base is done shorter. Um, I'll mention all makes a killer base. Uh, Parmaple bases are awesome. The uh, Mohan bases are just amazing. I don't know what my Mohan base is. Probably the best affordable awesome base I can I can recommend would be the Mohan base. Where is my Mohan base? Where are you? I don't know where I put him. I'll have more Mohan base coming in. Uh, I think the 22nd they'll be arriving here. Or 25th. playing one of my basses. Anyways, thank you so much to ever. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this Goring bass. And I'll play my bass. Where's my bass? Yes, Mr. Peckaby, you will get fed and loved on soon enough. Everybody give it up for Peckaby the cat. He wants recognition and he wants your soul. Thanks so much for playing all these bass harps. It was a pleasure. It's a pleasure having you, dude. Uh, uh, another awesome bass. If you can talk him into making you one, you have to play it um, very, very gingerly. Is a goring bass. Hi, the Everlaw. Everlaw says hi, new to harps, and you got me. Any, that's on different playing. Um, I missed the missed the uh, comment. It's hard to go from playing a different jaw harp to playing the uh, goring because I'm used to applying a little more pressure, being a little more aggressive. This one requires almost no pressure. It takes me a while to adapt here. Let's see if I can get this going. Anyways, we're going to wrap it up with that. I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope as your the summer draws to a close, everybody's had an amazing time despite the uh, pandemic and all the other stupid nonsense that's going on. It's a wonderful time to be alive and it's a wonderful time for harping. So I hope everyone out there is enjoying, enjoying life to the fullest. Many of you out there have had extended vacations, so I hope that they were fruitful I love y'all. Keep your hearts clean. Keep them dry. Keep them oiled. Harp out. Mr. Tech B, you want to say goodbye? No, he does not want to be. Oh, he does. Mr. Pickby says goodbye. Yeah. Oh, he says goodbye aggressively. Love y'all. Thank you for getting uh, cat hair all over my harps. This one I made while back. Big long one. Probably one of the longer ones I've made. And there's a cat hair. Two cat hairs stuck to it. Gifts of Pickby, of course. Love y'all.
How about now? Or ended now? Will it end yet? It hasn't ended. <laughs>